welcome back to my new fitness YouTube channel. I just got back from my favorite place, Trader Joe's. I recently did a Trader Joe's haul maybe like two weeks ago and it seemed really well, like you guys really enjoyed it. So I had to go back to my favorite place and stock up on all the goodies. As you can tell, I always, always, always get myself some eucalyptus, something about the aroma just I don't know it makes me happy it's so affordable two dollars and it honestly can last i think like a week and a half to two weeks so i got this and i highly recommend you guys check out their flowers and all that good stuff and because it is the holiday season they have the cutest gift sets and things like this like wooden boards and wooden spoons. So I got this for my charcuterie plates and my snack plates. I thought it was really cool because it had a handle on it. And every one that I saw looked a little bit different just based on the wood that you got. So this would be a great gift or even just to use for serving purposes and I needed it. Why did the guy checking me out? He was like, you better be using this for cooking. I said, yeah, for charcuterie. And he was like, no, you didn't get my joke. I guess he thought it would be a paddle. I said, sir, not at Trader Joe's. It's 11 o'clock. But anyway, love that. Highly recommend you snatch it while they're still out. I also wanted to check out some, well, not check out, but get ingredients to do some nachos. So I think in my next video, I'll do a fit vlog and do some cooking for you guys. So I got some organic yellow corn tortilla chips. These are the best, the round ones. Chef's kiss. And I picked up some more beef birria. My Traders has had this in stock. So it makes me happy because this is so good and it's easy to make. It's super high protein. I will say there's like nothing in here because the serving's like this big. They say this feeds two people, which is such a lie, but it's 64 grams of protein if you eat the whole thing like I do. I also always have to stock up. You guys know this on my gyozas. I think I'm saying that right. I always say it wrong, but you know me. These are amazing. I have yet to try the shrimp ones. I almost got it today, but I was like, no, let me stick to what I know. And I always just get the veggie ones because I eat so many calories a day. Sometimes I just want a meatless meal. So that's just a good in between to have throughout. And what was my bill today? 125 fine i did get you know that little paddle thingy oh my god not a paddle the cutting board you guys this is some turkey breast i'm trying to get back into eating high protein things so something quick like this that you don't have to cook love that and they have the best peppered salami so i was like i'm getting my little charcuterie board might as well get some of these so we can have like a little snack plate which is more like a lunch like it's very filling the way that i make it my favorite, I think everybody loves the mandarin orange chicken. So good, so easy to make. Such a Trader Joe's staple. I got some hot pico, love that for the chips. And this is my favorite guacamole. It's the chunky spicy with tomato, peppers, onion, cilantro, garlic, and lime. So I thought this would be easy for me instead of having to make it myself. Although I make some bomb guacamole. Grabbed some butter because I needed to stock up on that. And the last bag got some jalapenos. So these looked really good. I need to start cooking more with fresh produce, but I'm so lazy, guys. I forget about it and then it rots in the fridge. So if I know I'm making a specific thing, then I'll get what I need for that meal. And I also saw this organic pasta nest. It's like a macaroni imported from Italy. I don't think I've ever had anything like this, but I thought this would be really easy to do like a buttered pasta, like dairy free with my vegan butter. I don't know, something about this type of noodle, the thin wide cut just looked delicious. So can't wait to make that. I also grabbed some grapes for my little snack board. And something that might be new, I've never seen these before. It's a rosemary croissant crouton. Y'all, it's vegan. A flaky croissant um, chunk. So how amazing does that sound? I have no plans on making um, Caesar salad 
but I was like, I need to get that because Vegas croissants, you know what I'm saying? Like my vibes. So really happy to see more vegan dairy-free options. And I did get some salad. Hopefully it doesn't rot in the fridge, but I'm planning on eating this today. And this is the Southwestern chopped salad. I can't remember. This has cheese in it, but it's packed separate. I can't remember if the dressing was dairy-free. Soybean, water, avocado, vinegar, cane sugar, cilantro, starch. Yeah, so the dressing is dairy-free, but there is cheese. So yeah, love that for me. This is awesome. I have some micronutrients in the mix. I also picked up a ginger ale kombucha. Great for the gut health. You see all those probiotics at the bottom. Well, they were at the bottom. They got shaken up. Last few things. They have the best frozen veggies so i love this like fire roasted corn something about it girl go try it and then they had some spices i've never had i know they posted to instagram i couldn't find it at my location let me know if you guys have tried it yet but they have like a ketchup seasoning they also came out with a salmon blend i don't eat salmon so i left that on the shelf but they do have this green and red hatch chili flakes from new mexico so i love a good spice so i picked that up and some black pepper to re-up on and britain snow one of my favorite youtubers featured this in one of her vlogs and it turns out it's dairy free it just has egg in it it's a tangy sauce um like a secret tangy sauce so i don't know is it giving big mac sauce is it gonna give chick-fil-a sauce we don't know but i felt like this would be good to have with like ground beef some homemade fries that type of vibe so let me know if you guys have tried that out they have the best seasonings and sauces i feel like at trader joe's and i also came across this beef chili with beans um yeah it didn't have like any soy so i thought this would be interesting to try out not sure what i'll put it on maybe like a baked potato you can make nachos with this i don't think i would eat it straight up out of the can but excited to try that and the last few things are some protein options like beans so i got some chickpeas love those and i also wanted to give a try i think i've tried these although i thought it was different because this says fat free traditional style refried beans and it's marked as vegan so gonna have that can you tell what we're gonna make I don't know wait till the next video you guys and then the last thing i like to get is the trader joe's brand of their sparkling plain water i wanted to get the lemon one but i just picked this up out of habit but these are in the cans so it's just nice to have a sparkling water option that has no sugar or nothing in it so that is it for my trader joe's grocery run this stuff will last me a hot minute especially like the canned items and stuff so i just really wanted to show you guys that like charcuterie board i think they're so stinking cute uh if you don't get it for a gift get it for yourself because you will be obsessed and i will see you guys in my next video bye